What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. To my members and new members, welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about The Mandalorian. But before we do get into that, member, hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell as we're fast approaching 4,000 subscribers. And also, we can get this video and the channel trending overall. Don't forget, I have a membership program and a merch store that you definitely want to go check out. And they're very important as it helps grow the channel as well so we can do other bigger things. Now, Pedro Pascal has been pushing and been talking about, yes, the Mandalorian. We know that he's very much invested and he loves this show just as much as he loves all his other projects. Now, recently in an interview by Fandango resurfaced by the Mandoverse updates at the D23 Expo in 2022 shows Pascal's early enthusiasm at the idea of the Mandalorian becoming a movie. And the interviewer first asks the Mandalorian director and season three executive producer Rick Famiyawa yes, I devour that name, about the possibility of ending this series with a film to which the, yes, executive producer insists he knows nothing about, which we all know is probably a lie. Pascal then steps in to enthusiastically answer the question with not just one, but two assurances that, yes, the executive producer wants to make a movie. So Pedro Pascal has wanted to make this Mandalorian movie to become a film ever since 2022. So that's freaking great. I mean, it shows all the more how long they've been thinking about this, and I'm sure they've had an endgame. But whether it was early conversations about the Mandalorian and Grogu, or simply Pascal's wizard ability to predict the Star Wars future, the actor was obviously very eager to get the idea of the Mandalorian movie going. He even adds at the end of the interview that if the movie is in a conversation already, then it will be after today during that time. Now this seems to prove what kind of a role Pascal's likely had in pushing for the Mandalorian and Grogu movie, as he calls it a great idea here and since affirmed his excitement for the upcoming film. Now, Pascal's infamously famous with his busy schedule and had caused some people or just overall the people watching the content to doubt that the extent of the actor's contribution to the Mandalorian and Grogu movie would be anything significant. But this enthusiasm Pascal showed two years ago already challenges that notion. The Mandalorian's shift away from TV will obviously call for Pascal to take on a more active role than before. And it's clear the actor has no qualms about that. Pascal has the ability to rearrange his schedule should he desire to make room for other projects, which is something he may do to prioritize the Mandalorian and Grogu movie. Pascal then is more than ready to lead Star Wars back to the movie theaters in the Mandalorian and Grogu movie, and he has been for over two years. As someone who said he'll play Din for the rest of his life if Star Wars will have him, everybody has nothing to say or fear when it comes to Pascal's involvement in the future of The Mandalorian. While the fate of The Mandalorian Season 4 still remains uncertain, as well as Pascal's role in the potential upcoming TV series, it's clear his dedication to the Mandalorian and Grogu movie is already profound and solidified in stone. And if this proves anything, is that when Pedro talked about this, it's because he knew that there was something coming and he had it in the air. As we know, a lot of the times the actors, when they get hired, they can't really say much, but they can give an intake or an assumption that ends up being that it's true and there's some fact behind it but guys thank you so much for tuning into today's video for more star wars content like this one hit the subscribe like and notification bell so we get the video the channel overall getting noticed and trending don't forget i have a membership program and a merch store and as always don't forget leave a comment down below where i'll catch you guys in the comment section